So today I'm going to show you how to make hand rolled beeswax candles. So the first thing you'll need is some beeswax sheets, and these come in either flat or honeycombed patterns. The honeycomb patterns are more attractive in rolled candles. And you can find these in most craft shops, or you can also find them online. Mine actually came from a local candle shop that had closed, and they still had these left in the basement, so I ended up buying those to make my candles out of. And you can either make a candle out of the whole thing, or you can cut them in half like I do to make slightly smaller candles. To get a tapered top, cut a piece off the top that starts out wide and tapers down to the corner. And then you'll start rolling from the big side. So then you'll need some wicking. For rolled candles, you use flat braid wicking, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's flat and it's braided. So run that along your candle on the wide side and cut it off about a half inch above where the side ends, just like that. And then you'll have to heat up your sheets. Uh, my favorite way to do this is to just leave them laying out in the sun for a while. Um, it really only takes a few minutes and then they're soft enough to roll. You can also heat them up with a hair dryer for a minute or two. Uh, once the bloom has disappeared, which is the white stuff, that's a good indication that they're ready to roll and you can test by how flexible they are as well. So once your candles are nice and soft, lay your wick out on it and very carefully start folding the wax around the wick. You want this to be really, really tight around the wick because it will determine how well the rest of the candle rolls. So just go all the way down the wick, rolling the wax just like that. And then you'll just continue on. You'll have to go all the way down the candle in little tiny rolls at first, but once you get your candle thick enough, then you can just start rolling it by keeping even pressure and just pushing it away from you. Or if you don't like the push away from you method, you can also flip the candle around and pull it toward you instead, but the method is still the same. Just keep even pressure so that the candle rolls tightly around itself. The tighter it is, the better it'll burn. So once you get to the end, you just want to take the candle seam and push it into itself with your thumb. The warmth should help make it disappear there until you can't see it. And because the top was tapered, it gives it a nice tapered top once it's rolled. Which also makes it better burning. And if you want to have a little fun with them, you can also decorate them by rolling strips of wax around them. Uh, all I have is red right now, but if you mix colors it looks better. You can do white and red for Christmas to make like little candy cane candles and things like that. But just mixing the colors looks good. If you want to give them as a gift, just tie them up with a little raffia. Then you've got a nice little set to give someone as a gift.